Today I'm giving a go of a yeast starter. So I've never actually made one before, but this will be my first attempt at making one. So it's only just a quick video of what I'm doing. Not really going to go too much into a how-to guide because I'm only just sort of learning off of what I've seen and what I've read into. So this is really just a, a first crack. And then once I've made a few and, you know, know the ins and outs of it, I'll, um, I'll try and do a, a how-to video. So I don't actually have a, a, a funnel either, so I've just used a bit of uh, baking paper. Um, so today I'm making a two litre starter. So the rule of thumb um, from what I've read is I think for every 100 mils of water you use uh, 10 grams of um, light mould extract. So I'm using two litres of water with 200 grams of um, light mould extract. So I've already um, just heated that up a little bit so I'm just gonna sprinkle this in here. Oop, spilled it. Shrink it in. A little go in there. I probably could have just took it straight in now that I think of it because I've just spilt it everywhere. So I might do that. bit of a fail this. We might get rid of that. I'll just tip it in slowly. Alright, so first thing I recommend is getting yourself a funnel to do this. So you make an absolute mess of it. Oh goodness. In. Just get something to shove that in with. Just a spoon. Just to get that in there. It's actually gone all hard now. I've really made a mess of this. I guess that's what comes with learning. Alright, so. It's basically like a little mini batch of beer really. You just get that up to temp, you let that boil away for a bit, you let it brew, you let it um, you know, melt properly and then once it's ready you um, let it cool and then add in all the sugars, uh, sorry, add in the yeast. Um, so I'll let this let this go for now um, and then I'll, I'll um, come back. Cheers. So every now and then what I'm doing is just sort of Give it a little swish around. Just be careful, it might be hot, but this one's not too bad. Just give it a give it a mix. I've just got that sitting on the top to stop anything else coming in, but it should be fine because it's boiling out, so I haven't got it on there tightly. But I'll let that go for a bit more, wait until it's probably been, I'll probably give it 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully that should be enough once it's hit the boil, and then um, we'll let it cool. Alright, so the boil's done on that. I'm just going to let that maybe sit there for a little while. Um, the boil has finished, but what I'm going to do is just drop the, the magnetic stir bar in just to, um, that, that'll that disinfect it a bit. Um, and we'll leave that sitting there for maybe maybe 45 minutes and then I might just chuck it in a, in a sink full of uh, cool water. And um, I'm probably not actually going to need to use this until uh, tomorrow or the next day, so... It's got plenty of time to, to mix and, and, and cool down. All right, so I've got the starter ready to go. So I've um, had this cool down now. It's nice and cool. Sitting on the stirrer, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is add the yeast. I'm using a London Ale yeast. Um, this is for the New England IPA beer that I'm brewing. Um, this beer you might have already seen that I've done already. If not, um, it might come after this video. Um, but this is my first time ever giving a 
you start or a go. So one thing is just making sure this is nice and sanitized. I reckon to also sanitize the keep the packet sanitized too. This will do the scissors as well. Get it all going. I've never even opened one of these packets, I don't know how it goes. Oh yeah, there we go. You can see it's just straight in there. If you can see that, I don't want to tip any out. Just pull that straight in. I've had this packet sitting out for probably an hour or so now, so that yeast should be, it's at room temp, so it's all just sort of been sitting there. Give it a quick stir around and mix it all through. And then we'll just we'll make sure the stir bar's lined up. And we'll turn that on. You can hear that spinning. And as far as I know, that's it. That's all I need to do. So it's all switched on. And uh, hopefully that does the trick. I'll uh, come back tomorrow morning and double check it but um, yeah this is what I'll be pitching into my New England style IPA so um, wish me luck alright so the start has been running since about 10 30 11 o'clock yesterday it's about 8 30 now the next day so we've gone for about what's that 22 hours at the moment um, you can see it's already had a bit of a krausen form on top um, here it's spinning away I don't know if you can see it, but you can just see the bubbles coming from the bottom and forming on the top, which is cool. So um, this looks like it's just about ready to chuck into the beer. And you can see that nice hazy color as well, which is uh, looking very similar to the color I want to achieve in my beer. So very happy with that. Looks like it's been a success. We'll wait until it's pitched and um, hopefully it, it ferments the beer properly and we've got a delicious beer at the end. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Thanks again for watching. Um, if you've got any tips for me um, to help improve the uh, yeast starter, let me know. Um, I'm still learning. I'm loving it, and I'm going to keep doing it. So uh, keep watching, keep tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.